Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh, thanks for joining me today. Well, we're talking about Della Vlogs. I haven't spoken about them in a little while. Uh, the first birthday party of the kid that they bought was very recent and it's very stupid and very out of touch. There are people dying, Bella, people dying. And there are people you're taking advantage of. And this child is one of them. You and Dallin are a bunch of buttholes. So let's talk about it. So someone on the Della Vlog Snark page, which has grown quite substantially at 6.3 thousand members right now, um, posted this video that they found. And I think we dismantled this video because I remember it because the damn guitar is super ugly and it, ugh, the guitar. <laughs> anyway, I want to just show you this video first and I want to go through how much they've lied since this moment, okay? Listen to this. Share of the baby and this process. I'm not gonna talk about that because I'm already feeling like a mama bear. Like I. Are you a mama bear? Are you a mama bear? Because your mama bear sucks. I'd rather be in the woods with a bear than your mama bear. Because your mama bear is garbage. So she, when she says mama bear, what she means is a protective mama. This woman is so self-centered and narcissistic, and I know that word is overused. And it's very rare that a person in population actually has narcissism. It really is really rare. But not when it comes to people who share their entire lives with the internet, who buy babies for clout. That stuff is all about her. When the baby wouldn't go to her, she freaked out, right? This woman is no mama bear. She has no idea what protection of a child looks like because we've seen what her mama bear looks like. And it's not, it's no better than any other family vlogger. They've shown this kid every single day since they bought it from the internet. And like so protective of my baby that I don't have yet to me. Mm, are you? Yeah, I feel like the baby's adoption. Don't forget that the, okay, sorry. Story is something that's like sacred and personal and private. And the baby's adoption story is sacred, personal and private. That's what she just said. Those are her words. Is there an aunt on me? Those are her words, okay? Listen to that. The mo before they even touched this baby, they were filming the process. The moment they laid eyes on this baby, you got to as well with the camera. Don't ever listen to anything she says. She looks like the guy from, what's the jo George, the George of the Jungle or something. What's the guy that wears the yellow hat and stuff? I really don't know how many details we're gonna even share. We probably won't share a lot of details. Oh, you won't share a lot of details, eh? Like, any details. like, we're not gonna share where the baby came from. Yeah, you did. Anything about the birth mother, like that stuff? Yeah, you did. Yep, and remember the video that on uh, Matt and Abby, the, they deleted it off the internet, they tried to memory hole it. I have that video on my channel, go watch it. They made five promises to this mother and they didn't even know what they were. Do you think they f fulfilled their promises to that mother? Nope. They're damn liars. It's just very private. Very, it does very, not private. Be out. very private. And I just don't want my baby to like watch these videos back in the future and like be like, wow, my parents like shared all of my details of like my birth. Right. And, like, you share every single day with this baby on the internet. You travel all over the world. This baby has no inkling of a schedule or normalcy because you guys are just, she's, she's wealthy beyond wealth, okay? They they would never have to worry about money. The only reason he married her was for money, okay? Because clearly he's so sick and done with her shit. We can all see it, okay? He's with her for money because she is just a douche, all right? And it's I, at this point, he's probably like, it's not even worth it, okay? But... They have so much money, they don't even know what to do with their lives, so what they do is travel. And they never had to exploit this child for money. And they don't, because they don't need the money, right? They like it, don't get me wrong, and they'll make more money. She does this for the accolades. That makes it so much worse. Because there are actually people out there who exploit children, and they're like, this is how I make money, it's the only way I can make money. And you can sort of like, understand, but not really, but you're gonna like, okay, well, that's it. You know, she doesn't. The people who don't need to exploit children and do are, th are the worst. They're the worst of them all. Okay, because there's just no need to do it. And most people who are rich and have children know to protect their children. These people do it so they can get like, the, oh, you're such a good mom. We know she's not a good mom. She's a terrible, terrible mom with no motherly instincts whatsoever. For someone who wanted so badly to be a mom, she has the worst motherly instincts I've ever seen in my life. 
like my life, like where I came from with the whole internet. The way that we see it is we're going to be documenting our experiences. Yeah. And what oh, are you? I go through and what we... And he's lying to you right now too because no, it isn't. You didn't document your experiences. You documented this child and we'll go look in the channel every single effing day of its life so far. Like you're worse than Dr. D does at this point. Feel it have because we're able to regulate all of that. It's going to be about... Did you regulate it? Did you regulate it, Dallin? You douche. Us, because... Us becoming parents. Us we're just yeah. very protective of the baby. Like, there's days where, like, do I... Why is she saying this? Why is she saying we're just very protective of the baby? You don't have... First of all, you don't have the baby yet. And no, you weren't. No, you didn't. You were not protective of this baby. They want to put their face on the internet. I don't know. Like, I, yeah. I just think we'll cross that road when we get to it. I'm full mom of it. Can you cross the bridge? Right now. I'm, I'm full mama bear. Don't even have a child yet. Full mama bear. She just wants. Here's the thing that's so icky about these people. For her, it's about like these monikers that she can add to herself. These things that she can be. A mama bear. I can't wait to dress them up and spoil them rotten and have first birthday parties, which we're going to see in a minute, with like, expensive party planners and like decorations where she takes pictures of herself in front. Of, like she's so self centered. The, the baby is an accessory for her to get comments and likes. That's literally all it's for, everybody. That's disgusting. She has zero mama bear. Zero. I'm just very particular about what we're gonna post about the baby and I wanna make sure we do it Are in you? the right way that's oh. appropriate and we wanna keep our baby safe. <laughs> and did you? No, you didn't. So but anyway, we're grateful that you are excited and interested to know about our baby. Well, that's what keep you guys all updated. Right. Right. You're gonna know. Are you gonna keep us updated? Oh, we know, you kept us updated every single day of its life. You're but gonna know everything. Really like what happened to these people who were like, ah, oh, maybe we won't show everybody. What happened to you? Why are you such liars? Details about like, what we're gonna share. So Sitting in their piano room. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, but we shall see. And some of the comments on this are crazy. This is hysterical. Bella saying, not sure how much about the baby we want to share on the internet. I'm all mama bear right now and I want to keep the baby safe. <laughs> Fast forward a few months and they're passing off their baby in a stranger's arms, letting strangers take photos of their baby, plastering videos of their child all over the internet and daily vlogs and social media posts and toting her all over the world instead of prioritizing the young baby's development and sleep schedule. Sure guys, we totally believe you when you said you had the baby's best interest at heart. The only best interest you prioritize are prioritize your own. That's exactly what I said in the first video. And if you go back to my video, you'll see me with this face. Like, I highly doubt you're going to protect this baby. And they didn't. They absolutely did not. Remember the five promises they made to this mother? They didn't fulfill those five promises. They don't even remember what they were. These people are buttholes. They don't remember anything. And it's all about what's going on right now. I want to keep the baby safe. Also, Bella giving S to strangers in Korea to take random pics so she can satisfy her narc mind. Nothing about this woman scream mama bear. She has no maternal instincts, shows no affection towards us. The only thing she is the bear of exploiting her for attention, fame, and money funding their lavish lifestyles. They can be exploiting bear, su bear suits her better. The mama, the woman doesn't even call S her daughter, and she legally is. SMH, I'm shaking my head. I'm really starting to wonder if they actually watch these videos before posting them or just let their editor post it. They No, they edit it. They edit it. Now videos of S are all over the news in Korea. What? What the hell? So they've been going to Japan, Korea, they're traveling all over the world. Again, her entire life has been online for everybody to see. And it's being documented on their snark thread, which is great. I'm surprised she hasn't got rid of this yet. Like they just, again, they want it to be so picture perfect and story perfect that they'll lie to the, oh, she said mama, mama on Mother's Day. No, she didn't. You're such a liar. You're such a damn liar. See, look, she's taking picture with people in North Korea. Like, at the most, does this mama bear here? Is this protection? Is this protecting your kid? This white child's getting take, pictures taken of her by strangers in Korea. Are you out of your mind? Did you see the Korean lady who came and gave S socks? They were flattered, but people were concerned about the child. Yeah, they don't have socks in this kid. Like, they just, they're so bad. Like, these people don't have no business being parents. Zero business being parents. It is crazy that adoption agencies, and you know what? It's probably because it's Mormon. I think they're Mormon or Christian, that they got it. The only reason that some Christians will get babies is because they go to Christian agencies or Mormon agencies to get them. <laughs> with adoption, my biggest worry was that by not carrying her with for nine months during pregnancy, we wouldn't bond. You didn't bond. Your worry was correct. You didn't bond with your child. Now, Dallin has bonded with the child way more than you have. And Dallin's an idiot, too, for not protecting that kid, because I made a video of that. Dallin has a choice here. He, You can tell that the bond between him and that child is very, very, very strong. And he, he wants to do it. And she runs the show. They sat down and said they weren't going to exploit this child. And they did. And he let it happen. 
Yeah, this is hilarious. The hands-free shots. Imagine staging, filming, and retrieving a camera tripod set up the angle of your family walking out in public. Do people not realize this is how this works? So he runs down, sets up the tripod, runs back and grabs it, puts it in another area. They don't have someone coming with them to film. Hi. I love that. I see people. Anyway, so let's get to the first birthday party. Remember, they swear they weren't going to share it with the internet. They swear they were going to be good parents, and they were going to. But every this thing was like this is like their thing. They're driving a Model X, by the way. It's like a hundred fifty thousand dollar SUV, um, and she just oh, her eyes are too close together. I am absolutely freaking out right now. It is. This guy, watch his face, okay? He's 185% out of love with this woman. Like, he does not like her at all. He gets to drive a really nice, fancy vehicle, live in a very fancy house. This guy has not worked for anything he's gotten. She has taken advantage of people through Origami Owl her whole life, and now they take advantage of this child. This guy is a loser, okay? He hitched his star, or he hitched his wagon to her star, and is just like, Total beta garbage. Stories. Birth I wonder if he knows that. Day party today. We know the theme. The theme is storybook. And I. Oh my god! Is it really? You named your kid Story so that her first birthday be storybook. We know. I hired the best party planner ever. Who See, she like this woman has no job. Like she runs a, a a company with her mother, which basically runs itself because it has downlines and everything else. She probably writes a couple emails a week. She exploits this child. He she doesn't even edit the video. He does it all. And she can't even plan her own daughter's birthday. She can't even put her own time and that into it. Like rich people are like, are you, are you okay? Like just do something that you can do that's special for your child. Does that not make it better? Am I wrong? I know a lot of people are like, if I had the money, I'd do it too. Would you for a one-year-old who's never going to remember it? Like these people are just like, they want to be Kardashians so badly. Who designed everything and did the party for me. I don't know anything. We don't know. I we know you don't know anything, asshole. I really trust this party planner. Her name is Jen. And I was like, you know what? You're going to do great work. Just go off and do your thing. So she's just like paid this lady a bunch of money. Doesn't even know what she's doing. Surprise us for this birthday. Like you're not even a part. Like she's even part of the party planning with the party planner. She has no, just like, here's a bunch of money. Go do it. I don't want to do anything. I'm lazy. And so we're headed to the party right now and I'm freaking out. My heart is literally pounding. Why? It's a stupid birthday party for a one-year-old. Dumbass out of my chest. I can't wait to see it and like see it all come to life. The storybook theme's so cute. How do you know you haven't even seen it? The princesses, all of our family and friends are gonna be there. It's just such a great day. I cannot wait to get there. I literally can't breathe. I'm so Is he filming her while he's driving? So excited. Oh my gosh. No freaking way. I think this is an origami owl uh, sight. One of hers. I'm shaking. There's a carousel out front. This is so... And you had no idea none of, any of this was going on. Epic. Oh my gosh. This oh, these people are so... St ugh, just... <sighs> just raging dudes. This is crazy! Come on, baby! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's our first time seeing... Stop. I'm already gonna cry. I was filming this. Oh my gosh! This is crazy! Look at her, look at me! Oh my god, we're here! It's for the, 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 the kid. The birthday party's for the kid. How much more could she make this about her? This is so gross. It's so self-centered and selfish. And she's like, oh my God, it's from me. Is this me? Is it mine? You don't see this, Stella, Bella, whatever your name is? You don't see this? You don't see that it's all about you? Crazy. Why are you crying? How, okay, I gotta mute this music, but how are they using copyrighted music? Did they pay for those letters? Paige, this backdrop, I cannot handle. <laughs> it turned In a kingdom one far away, two narcissistic assholes bought a child for the internet clout and enjoyed all the likes and comments, except turned all their comments off in their videos because they know they're buttholes, and then lived happily ever after. Oh, so good. So we have the once upon a time backdrop and then a ball pit over there, which is so- You couldn't plan any of this yourself? Are you serious? 
You couldn't plan this. Oh, so cool. Then if you come in, you'll see the tables, all the details on the table. This is a one-year-old's birthday party. Stop being an idiot. Okay, the kid will never remember it. A smash cake, some sugar, some dinner with the family. It's all you need. Like, these people are so out of touch. It turned out so good. There's like little teacups. There's all the beautiful flowers. That that's, I'm sorry, that's ugly. And I know I'm not an interior decorator or whatever. That looks ridiculous. It looks terrible. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people would be like, no, it's, you know, I'm, no. Said what I said. That's butt ugly. This is a one-year-old. How about getting some Sesame Street characters out here? Bright colors and explosions of fun. This is terrible. You guys are terrible. This backdrop. Whoever designed this, terrible. Is unreal. It has like storybook pages on the backdrop and the flowers. I mean, it's storybooks. They're amazing. There's like a little couch up here and the color of the couch is unreal. Why are you out of breath? No one gives a shit. And then the birthday cake, oh my gosh. There's just so much to take in. You didn't plan any of this? You didn't get a cake, nothing? You did nothing for your child? So she's like, okay, just buying things for your child doesn't make you a good parent, actually. It makes you kind of a shitty parent. If you pass it on to everybody else to do the work for you, and you don't put any work into it, you just pay it out of your wallet, you're not very good. You understand? You, you, she's, she's going to take credit for it all, because she paid for it with her wallet. But you're kind of bad. You're kind of bad. I'm overwhelmed with all these feelings, but it's just, it's better than I could have ever imagined. This party is beautiful and I am gonna cry again, so. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry, I paid for this. Happy first birthday, Story Bell. Oh, there we go, finally, is it her birthday? Okay, we got to that. Just getting a little pre-party snack going right now, so he's a little hungry. Notice how he's the only one taking care of his child and she's out there like, look at me, oh my gosh, why is he wearing so much Mr. T jewelry? <laughs> She's coming to life now. Are they like marketing? They're using this child for marketing origami owl jewelry. That's what that was. Wow. She's already laughing. This girl eats more than anyone I know. She looks. Does she? This one year old eats more than anyone you know? The one year old does. Does she? Okay. Little foodie. So she's eating her heart shaped waffle. It's yoga part phase. It's unbelievable how much I love you. Yeah. You guys are so disingenuous. Yeah, your friends are showing up. <laughs> she has no friends, she's one. This is gonna be awesome. All the people working at this event are like, there yeah, they are, a bunch of assholes. Disney Prince is like, this lady's a douche. Her eyes are too close together. All right. Weight restrictions. Okay, I got a fast forward. Couldn't even light the damn candle yourself. Had to get the help to do it. Okay, and she blew out the kid's candle! Kid can't even blow out his own candle! And if you look, I, I was looking at this one because there's a, there's an interesting comment for the top, which is, I'm surprised they haven't deleted. It says, Dear Mom and Dads, do remember that this family is very rich. If you can only afford an, a home-baked cake and a few balloons, this does not make you any less of a mom or dad. You are good enough. All your baby needs is love. And that's the greatest gift of all. She, they couldn't even like the comment. They couldn't hard at nothing, right? They don't want to give it any didn't pin it that's just there because it was voted up that up that way but that's true right these people who portray this stuff stop watching it because it's not real okay anybody who does this in real life a one-year-old birthday party to this degree it's about them not the child because a child won't remember it okay these people exit them from your life they don't need to be a part of your life okay they're gross oh selfish people make me super angry this baby hit the lottery finding parents like you yeah that's true Imagine story births, story, stories birth mom watching this in tears of joy. <laughs> Doubt it. What about the five promises? Tears of joy there? 
Pretty bad. Pretty sad that Bella couldn't even stay focused on story when everyone was saying happy birthday. She kept looking at everyone else. That should have been such an adoring moment. It's so cool for your little girl. Weird. They had this giant party. There was like seven people there. <laughs> All right, so then they, they then dropped this video, which was opening our or what we got what her gifts were, because they wanted that to be like a low. They're they're basically the new LeBrants, by the way, um, but they wanted to like uh, put a nice video together. And they're not getting paid for that video because they've got a copyright on it for sure with that song, um, unless they paid for the rights and maybe they did. But this is their uh, this is what we got Story Bell for her birthday. It's our girl's birthday. She's up and eating her birthday breakfast. We had heart-shaped waffles, fruit, some yogurt so far. She's one. Can you go one? Look, she go one. Yay. Last night, I stayed up late decorating the house. People are what? Like, I know this baby's blurred right now, but people are all like, she looks just like you. <laughs> no, she doesn't. This doesn't look like either of them at all. Not even a little bit. So I just put balloons everywhere. I put all of her pictures from her birthday party up and then I did print out these cute little pictures. Why would you? That's, it's too big for the fridge! I just put it in this little banner, but the banner broke right before I went to bed and it was like 12 30. So I just taped him up. It's so cute. Can't even open your cupboards. Cute because it has a picture from every month of her life. And you know, we all know that because you take a picture of every day of her life for the internet. Strawberries? One year old today, story girl. Just one year old. Not one year old. One is singular. One year old. Can you do one finger? Yeah. You were born today. Look at look at this. Every <laughs> she looks like she's gonna die. This. Are you okay there? You anemic? Uh, look, Aunt Bell and Lambert, Aunt Bella Grace. This is all that matters to them. This is all that matters to them. Such one year girl. ago. I can't believe we have a one year old. And what's funny is, mom and dad. I can't believe it either. You don't deserve this child. I didn't even know. We didn't even know. We didn't even know that you were being born. And then we were told you were born. We're not going to put her on the internet. We're going to protect her. Mama bear alert. And we came as fast as we could to go get our story girl. We just got home from the splash pad. I think it's one of the story's favorite places. All her friends were there. She loved it. Stop saying friends. She's one. You guys don't even have any friends. And on the way home, she fell asleep in uh, the car. So Bella's putting her down right now. Um, we had Story's birthday party a few days ago, but since today is actually her birthday, Bella and I- Why would you have her birthday not on her birthday? I want to give her her present. This is from mom and dad, and we got her the- um, A Range Rover. This car. A Land Rover. It's a remote control pink. Range Rover car. So it's gonna be awesome. Let's set it up now. Rich people. The kid can't even walk, man! She wakes up from her nap, we're gonna give it to her. And we're gonna see how she likes it. She loves the little people and she already has like the little castle that she got for her birthday from our friend Lauren. And so I just got her all the little people to put in the castle. It has like the Tiana. Oh, it's so cute. Moana. Little dwarf. I love it. You're a little dwarf. She loves those things. She's upset. Yeah, she likes those. She's not gonna like this stupid thing you got her. It costs like 500 bucks. Oh, wow. Alright, get it out. Let's do this. Wow, she's got music. And you remote control it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually surprised he's putting it together and then just calling someone to come set it up for them. You suck, dude. No way, the door's open. <laughs> it's a car. <laughs> How do you know? How do you know the alignment's good? You have to take it for a test drive to see that. Wow. Okay. Music appreciation. <laughs> Made in China much? <laughs> 
you guys ever like all the things that connect to Bluetooth it's like you are connected to a Bluetooth. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. <laughs> Off. All right. Your phone's connection and pair it with the car to play music from your phone. There's no way. That's crazy. Of course you can play your wife's music. No. No. What a loser. Way. This thing is sick. All right, let's test this thing out. Wow. All right, let's see how fast this thing goes. Let's get to the good stuff. That's so loud. <laughs> So basically, you bought yourself a toy. That's what happened here. All right, time for a test run. <laughs> Poor dog. My dog would like eat that thing. Like if I have a remote control uh, Tesla Cybertruck, it's like this big. I found it on sale. I think I told you it's a story before. I think it's like $150. I found it for 50% off. Like in just some random, I think it was called a treasure hunt store. Really weird. Anyway, if I if I roll, Gus was like, ah, ah, he wants to eat the thing. We have a Power Wheels. Like uh, I bought a second, uh, uh, like a secondary, what do we call it? Second hand Power Wheels a little while ago for the nieces and nephews that come over and play. Because what I did is I swapped out the big battery for it and I put a connector on. You could put drill batteries in it. Makes it like go way faster. Anyway, all that to say, um, Gus, like that sound, he like bites the wheels. He, he wants to eat them. Right, Gus? You suck, dude. Story just woke up. It's time to go get her and show her the car. Oh! Well, hello, birthday girl. Happy room. birthday. Get this room. <laughs> no color for you! Hey, to you. Happy birthday to you. I'm not sure you're supposed to have a pillow like that in a crib. I'm just trying to go back to my days uh, with babies. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to have that in there. Let's go find. It's kind of dangerous, I'll actually. Show you your birthday present. It's really cool. Let's go. Wow! Kid doesn't give a shit. Wants the balloon. That's it. The balloon. It's a car. She's like, no, not the balloon. It's the car. Look at the car. The kid wants the balloon. Oh my goodness! It's for you. Go story! This is awesome. She loves it. No, she doesn't. Why do you say things when we can see with our eyes that she clearly doesn't care? Doesn't like it at all. She's like, she loves it. Is that what love looks like? Ah, terif terrified? Oh, you got your babies in your car? That's because you put those in there. Is this literally the whole video? So cute. Story got this unicorn for her birthday, and this is the one that I got for my like tenth birthday. This is apparently a very vintage Build a Bear. Look, it's That's Mama's. A -Bear. Yeah, this is an old Build a Bear. Her name is Sparkles. This is also the camel we brought home from Abu Dhabi. If you guys watch our travel, they took the kid to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> if you watch us travel all over the world and our kid totally melting down, it's great. Videos. I hauled this thing around the world. We're getting ready right now. This portion of her birthday, we're going to Lauren and Ari's house. Wait, look, how tiny is her little sock? It's so cute. We'll see if she keeps these on. We'll see if she does. She doesn't really keep socks on or shoes. So they're or so hats. cute. You have your Bumba socks. Yay. Wait, Story, family Bumba socks. <gasps> we all have the same sock. Shut up. I mean that sincerely. We all have fun! Yay! Yay. We're super grateful because Bumba- You guys are idiots. Bumba is actually sponsored- Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! They're using their kid's first birthday video to do a sponsorship! Mama Bear Alert! I will Mama never, Bear. ever, 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 ever buy those socks now. Ever. In a million years. Never. A year ago, one year ago today, we were at their house celebrating Alessi's birthday. I can't believe that. And we had no idea that our daughter was being born. That like that. Oh my god! Like, you know, oh my god! That just blows my that mind. That was a year ago. Like, what is life? Time what a has journey. Just flown by. It's a ride. We're forever grateful. This is little girl's an angel. <laughs> we made this beautiful cake. Isn't it gorgeous? See, that's all you had to do right there. That's it. 
No, we wanted to spend ten thousand dollars on a birthday party to show everybody how rich you are. Ready? She said ready. This is a proper one-year-old birthday party. Ooh. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, no, no, no. no. They did the whole song too. Yay. <laughs> this woman's trying to be a singer. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh. Might as well get Northwest to come sing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. That's why she didn't make the cake, because that's what it turned out to look like. Yeah. This woman, they have fake grass? Whoa, 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 one-handed. One-handed. You're making me nervous. Okay, that's super dangerous. Are these those people from Bachelor? No, we're not there. How is you? <laughs> They're so lazy, they have fake grass. How are you? Cutting grass is like a right to like manhood and being a dad. They can't even cut their grass. Go ahead. Cutting grass is the best part of life. I love cutting my grass. Love it. Hey. Hi, I see you. <laughs> the dog poops on it. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so they did that entire video right there. Just like of a sponsorship. That's literally what that was for. A sponsored video. These, these just disgusting people. They're so disgusting. So here we go. Last day in Tokyo. Arriving in Tokyo. My first Mother's Day memory in South Korea. Uh, eating sweet markets in South Korea. Bangkok, Thailand. Flying business class with a baby. Is it worth it? Visiting the Grand Mosque in Abu Dhabi. Um, and their, their view counts are going down, which is good. Which is great. Glass bottom in the Maldives. Will she walk soon? Nope. Maldives, Maldives. I, apparently the Maldives are amazing. I'd love to take my wife there someday. Dubai glass skyscraper. We had mommy, dad. They're like, this is what they're doing. They're traveling. This kid doesn't even have a normal life. Can't have a normal life. Nobody likes them. Anyway, there you go. Everyone in an update in Della? There you go. Della vlogs. Still a bunch of buttholes. The mama bear thing at the beginning should give you guys pause and be like, okay, well, she said she was going to do that and she didn't. Right up to the last video that they just posted now was a sponsored video where they got paid to put their kid in socks. That's who these people are. That's who they become. That's who they always will be. They're disgusting and you shouldn't watch them. Okay? Cool. Everybody, take a deep breath. Hmm. I don't like these people. But I like you. I think you're nice. And some kind of something. Don't you forget it. I'll see you when I see you.